What's going on, guys? Welcome to a uh, late night modern stream here on Twitch or YouTube, depending on where you're watching this. Uh, today we have a deck critique by uh, George B. And it's a death and taxes list. And George actually had a bunch of stuff to say about the deck. So I will mention some of those things here just to give some, some background. Um, deck definitely plays like death and taxes. Uh, I feel it's very playable on paper due to minimum shuffling effects, only if you path Ghost Quarter yourself, and it's pretty versatile. Yeah, like, so you have Lean and Arbiter and Ghost Quarter, which is one of the cornerstones of the modern Death and Taxes deck. What's going on? Boost Pudding. Mmm, Bob, <laughs> Schmidl, Bob, Bob, Do, Bob, Bob, Do, Bob, Do, Bob, Do, Bob, Okay, so... <laughs> I'm, I'm more impressed with the commitment you put in there. Uh, into typing out all of that, uh, <clears throat> you know, that uh, respectful homage to Hanson. And, uh, okay, well, <laughs> Schmittlebop was a nice, <laughs> a nice bonus there. Okay, anyway. Anyway, no, this is not the deck we posted yesterday, because yesterday was a standard deck. It was just a Celestia standard deck. This is a modern Death and Taxes list. And <clears throat> the first thing I mentioned, I asked, actually asked George, I'm like, can I play this after... Um, after Ravnica comes out, because Ravnica has Celestia in it, so there could be some sweet new additions to the deck. <clears throat> I like Collected Company a lot, and you're right that Over Vials is interesting. I mean, usually you go one or the other. <clears throat> but yeah, Night of Autumn is definitely uh, one of the easier changes to make, I think. Um, I already picked up four just, just in preparation. I also don't know what. That was my question as well. So... A lot of the Death and Taxes lists only have four Noble Hierarchs, and they don't have the birds. I wonder if that's okay. Those lists also do have Aether Vials, I believe. So, you know, you would still have eight one-drops to uh, accelerate, so to speak. I think Mirror Crusader is sideboardable. I think it's good, but in like if it's if you're not playing against a green or a black deck, it's basically just a 2-2 with Double Strike, which is like, you know, you're, you're playing a Silver Blade Paladin, right? <clears throat> um, Ramming up Excavator actually seems a little too cute. What's up, Michael Barbobo? Barbobbly boo. That is hard to say when you say it quickly. Um, Flicker Wisp also doesn't seem so. It, my initial, I really like Loxodon Smiter, especially in modern. Uh, my initial cuts would be these. Uh, I think Mirror Crusader is probably a sideboard card of anything, and I think it does. It just <clears throat> if it's a two-two with double strike, we don't have a way to pump it right. So it's basically a three mana with four power. So I think Knight is also four power for three mana. They both died a lightning bolt. <clears throat> so I'm going to put these four in there because I think they just automatically right off the bat they should go in. Um, flicker Wisp doesn't flicker that many things that we really care about. Being able to flicker with a Knight of Autumn actually makes it is is already um, a bit of an improvement, right? Because like if they if they play like a Cranial Plating then you can flicker Wisp your Knight of Autumn and kill the Cranial Plating which is pretty sweet. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, but other than that, like, I think it's good for Eternal Witness and I think it's good for Night of Autumn, but other, any other creature you really don't really care about blinking, but you do get the option of blinking a blocker, which is nice. So, or if you have six mana out, you can blink one of your lands and then on their turn you can collect a company. So that's an option. I would actually rather have Smiter than Wisp. I think Smiter on three as a four, four, or on turn two as a four, four, or just having them play Liliana or something. Loxon on Smiter seems so good. I'm just like, also if you had like two smiters off Collected Company, I would actually rather just take out a smiter than a, than a wisp. Or uh, the, the other way around, rather. Thank Backlight! What's going on, Chris? Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. I'm going to take these four cards out just to start. And we'll see if that works to our favor. I don't want to touch the sideboard yet. Because I like to play the deck first before I make tweaks, but I think Knight of Autumn is such an obvious inclusion that, uh, that it, it should go without saying. It does seem like a kind of value. Um, so the ta the death and taxes lists in modern are pretty popularized by playing like Leon and Arbiter and Ghost Quarter, right? Like you just kill their land and then they have no recourse or path to exile their guy, which is also a reason why I think there should be four paths in the deck because it's one of the best removal spells in conjunction with Leon and Arbiter. <clears throat> so. You done messed up it? Who's A.A. Ron? You 
That was loud. Really makes taxes brutal. Yeah, that's true. The taxes part. Well, the uh, two man Thalia really knows her taxes. It's tax season, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the worst part about having music is that you get the music stuck in your head while you're streaming. Oh, uh, this is actually not a new shirt. This is an older shirt. This is just a Jawbreaker shirt. But apparently no one wants to play Modern with us tonight, unfortunately. If anyone also in the chat wants to jump in the queue, we can have a sweet... Uh, we can have a sweet hangout sesh. Thalia's still really good, even with the paths. Oh, uh, yeah, but I mean, Thalia's always in the deck, right? So I don't think Thalia is uh, is a reason not to play paths or collected company, right? That's my opinion, anyway. I don't know. But I found it re... Warding. <clears throat> I'll, yeah, I'll try to let it slide. Anybody want to jump in this modern queue? We can have a good time. Anybody? Anybody? I don't understand the train, but I don't own a computer. Well, that's a good hindrance. This is weird that the modern queue is taking this long to fire. This is, uh... It's a little awkward. <clears throat> you guys come here often, or? Beans and cornbread. I'm just like hanging out. We're guys, we're having a good time. <clears throat> They're just turning on the stream before they join. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's it feels awkwardly accurate. I own exactly one modern deck, but it's zombie hunt. I don't even know what hunt is. Is it a zombie treasure hunt deck? That's interesting. Oh, I don't like this. I also would cut one Gavany Township as well. I don't like having two Gavany Townships because you have a lot of color requirements. And you have six out of 23 colorless lands. So 25% of your lands don't actually help you cast things like Dramokas Command or Loxon Smiter. Or Knight of Autumn for that matter. I feel like I have to mulligan this hand. Which is sad because it's good if I can hit one white source. How many white sources do we have? Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, looks like 14, 4, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, yeah, 14, hmm, 1 in 14 chance out of 53, <clears throat> 14, 28, 42, 56, it's like 1 in, it's about 24, 25%. It's like the opposite, but I will keep it because of the Thalia, so. Alright. We'll see what happens. We could also just, uh... Eh, I gotta put you on the bottom, unfortunately. Gotta get at least one castable. Yeah, that's usually my opinion as well. However. However. <clears throat> Sometimes you're out of risk it for the biscuit. Risk it. For lay biscuit, radiant fountain into amulet. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna tax you. You ready? Oh, look at that! God, we're so good at this game. This is pretty good because uh, path probably isn't going to be super relevant in this matchup. Risquito for le biscuito. That's from the Japanese. It's not. 
laying an arbiter into Ghost Quarter would be nice here. Nosecat, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Nine months in a row. Good lord. God, that commitment is so real. <clears throat> Guys, I think the subpocalypse is going to be happening anytime now, so I'm a little concerned with that. We're at 585 right now, but any moment we could crumble. Any minute. Any minute. <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to pretend it's not going to happen. I'm just going to pretend. You guys are going to watch it. It's going to go from like 585 to 407 or something. I'm just going to probably lose my my brain. He lost his... He lost his brain. This guy can't be countered either. God, this guy is so strong. God, Ravnica is such a good set. All the Ravnicas are so good. These are annoying. What do we have against this deck? Let's find out. No, no, no. Warship could be good. Engineer explosives for two. All right. Uh, Pride Mage, yes. Fracturing Gust, probably. <clears throat> Risk it for lay biscuit. Well, we don't have a reason not to play that. Surveil is pretty legit. Congrats on the two one, buddy. Also, George B is uh, I make dance in the chat. So, if you guys have any suggestions or, or criticisms, um, if you guys want to tell him that Loxodon Smiter is garbage, or if you want to tell him that Voice of Resurgence is your favorite card ever. You can do so in the chat, but be, be polite about it, okay? I am a fan of this beefy elephant boy. So I don't want to play this, because well, that's just bad. So I guess we'll just run this dude out here. I'm tempted to crush this now. I welcome the rage. <laughs> Unload on me. I mean, engineered into Thalia is fine. Like, I mean... Five mana destroy amulet of vigor gain one life. Yeah, I mean it's great. It's actually gained two life. Uh, uh, nerd. Fraction gust is two life per permanent. Thank you. And this is actually why I would bring it in because they often play multiple amulets. So I mean it's definitely. Oh wow, they didn't play a land this turn. <clears throat> Do I want to kill this? I don't know. Then they tap it and crack this in response. Beans and cornbread. Yep. Seems fine. Well, I want to play Voice and Noble Hierarch here. Nope, that's not going to do it. How about... Well, I can, I'm, I'm going to tap this just in case we... Uh, in case they end up having like a board wipe. I don't think they would. I don't know if this... I actually don't know the exact list of this deck. But I assume some shenanigans are present. What is going on? What is going on here? Walking Ballista. For two. Sure. Shoot, shoot. Forest. How many basic lands does this deck usually have? Polite Rage. Ah, oh, I'm really tempted to just kill this. So then they just block, shoot, shoot, and then they take two. This is aggressive. Well, that's pretty nice. That's... That's something I can get used to. 
Yeah, now we're definitely not uh, going to activate the Wildwood. One, two, three, activate. Yeah, we're not going to have enough mana. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. It's all fine. It's all part of the plan. I'm actually tempted to collect a company now because they can't really do much about it. But if we can get um, Night of Autumns into play... Loxodon, Smiter, Leon, and Arbiter. I guess we should have tapped these if we were going to do this. Because then we could Leon and Arbiter and Ghost Quarter their land, which is nice. But I'm pretty sure we're just going to play these guys. No Knight of Autumns, unfortunately. I mean, we'd have to hit, like, Night Knight, which would be fine. I mean, it's possible, but... I mean, if they happen to have another Engineer Explosives... So they are going to play... <clears throat> Looks like they are going to play Primeval Titan, sure. Knight only puts counters on itself? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Good times. Well, Titan's less scary, but they already paid the two for this, so. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to double block here. You're going to get the double strike one, right? Why are we tapped out? Because we played a uh, collected company in hopes of hitting Knight, Knight of Autumn to be able to prevent them from using the ability here. Because, like, if they play Primeval Titan on their turn, then we respond with a Knight of Autumn, like a collected company. It just doesn't do anything, so. I mean, I think our biggest mistake was actually not responding if that was our choice, but we decided to do that after combat, so. Um, being able to, uh, to use one of the mana for that and then still, if we used both for that it would have been great because then we can actually keep a path and um, what do you call it Ghost Quarter especially with Leon and Arbiter in play I think that would have made a significant difference but our, our train of thought was on uh, Knight, of, Knight of Autumn not Leon and Arbiter as our hit so They're also at 14. We have 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 on board. Double strike, haste, trample, vigilance. So we would take 14. Can they give it? Can they plus it again? No. <clears throat> or 16, rather. Thank you. And they don't have another red. So they can't give it another four. Yeah, no blocks. I mean, if we hit another land, we just kill them, right? Just get an Azusa as a blocker? So if we actually hit uh, another Ghost Quarter, we just we win, right? Because they can't pay for they can't pay for the Summoner's Pact. Well, I guess they can now. Oh man, it must be nice to have all these lands. Yeah, I don't think we can win now. Do it. 
No, we're just we're too short on mana right now because we can activate this. But if we had one more land, we can get rid of this guy. Uh, they'd block here. They would take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game. Uh, can they beat a warship? I'm wondering if they can beat a warship. Scavenging is not great here. Jeroka's Command, not great. Voice is also not that great. I'm gonna bring in two Pride Mages, the other Thalia. Fracturing Gust, Warship. <laughs> they did show us engineer Explosives, but I'm not gonna bring in Sunny Silence just for that, I don't think. Settle the wreckage is almost tempting. Jeroka does not hit amulet. It only hits enchantments. Oh yeah, if they want to go, I mean, four mana for an engineer explosives to kill a warship, that's fine, but it, it buys us a lot of time. Plus they can't like search for it. Subtle does seem pretty medium. I mean, I don't know if anything else is better, though. I mean, I might just want another voice in here just because it's... a creature. Yeah, it seems fine. Ish. Chip. Oh, boy. <laughs> ah, magic Online. Having a good time. Having a good time. We'll keep it. Bottom. Beans and cornbread. Okay, we're doing it. White, green, voice. Mold of five, Emily keeps seven, living the dream. Exactly. Exactly. So against a deck like this, like... I don't even know what would be good. There's not a tremendous amount of green land destruction nowadays. What's up, Forrest? Good to see anybody. Beans and gold. Why does this song stuck in my head? Da -da. Yeah, that's true. I mean, we shouldn't have to worry about it that much, I suppose, but... Such life. Look at this gemstone mine counter. That's pretty sweet. It's a, it's a land with a pickaxe in the middle of it. That's great. Wow, they just abraded my guy. Land. Land. Also, I like fetch lands if we have Eternal Witness. I feel like we should have fetch lands in here. Nice, nice. Hope you're enjoying Florida. Unless you're in Florida. Unless you're from Florida, in which case, I assume you would be. Wow. Wow. See, this is what I want to avoid. How do they always have two? I don't understand. I barely have two lands, and they have two amulets. 
And here we go. Should they unban Pod? No. No, they should not. Pod is a deck that forces all other mid-range decks out of the format because you just play the best Pod deck. Um, I think anyone who... Like, people people who, who, who want Splinter Twin and, and Birthing Pod unbanned, they actually don't have... I feel like they don't have a fundamental... I don't even insult anyone. But they don't have a fundamental grasp of deck building and how decks affect metagames. <clears throat> that was interesting. I feel like they should definitely not unban Skull Clamp. Oh, Star Wars Disney, that's pretty sick, dude. That sounds like a blast. Let's get rid of one of these at least. I feel like having one less of these is, uh, is reasonable. I would also not mind... Uh, we can lead an Arbiter and Ghost Quarter next turn. If we had a Ghost Quarter, if we hit any land, we could just collect a company, which is nice. Yep. Here, come, here he comes. You ready? Okay. Well... Black Vice, oh my god, no. No. Skull Clamp is overrated as a spot, no. Spazio, no. Terrible, just stop it. Well, we're not dead here because I only have one amulet, so I guess that's good. Silver linings, I suppose. We can top deck a Path Exile. Oh, Primeval Titan. Why are you the way that you are? The boss here is him googling what he pulls in this situation because half the people play the deck don't know how to play. Yeah, that, I think that's actually fair. It is a... Uh, it's definitely a tricky deck to play. Temple Garden. One, two, three, four. They have way too many things, too. I guess we go to six and just collect it company. Ugh, yeah. Just killing me. You're killing me, Smalls. Knight of Autumn and Eternal Witness. Eternal Witness doesn't get back anything. Smiter could be good. It's definitely Knight of Autumn. Why does Perfect Design have Trample again? Does anybody know that? Does anybody know why? They have six cards in their hand. Good lord. I guess it's just Knight Eternal Witness and get back. Something I really care about getting back. Here's a Path to Exile, too, quite comically. Chester Pooh, thank you so much for the resub. Seven months? Where's the ring? I'm sorry, buddy. Listen. Listen. I don't think it actually gets... Yeah, but we already have a company in hand, so I'm not super high on that I might just rather have it. I don't think it matters like I don't actually think it matters I think we just want the the power on board uh, destroy this are we dead I'm pretty sure we're just dead I guess they have to pay four and we get to kill a primeval titan it's not nothing and they don't get to use the lands that they untap with unless they've drawn a third amulet of vigor like you do. Primeval 
primeval titan. This elemental token is doing doing some hard work. We do get to hit another collected company, which is great. Pretty sure we're just double blocking here. Sure. Double block. Double block. Sure. Reasonable magic. It's a lot of plant tokens you're making here, buddy. Uh, I'm actually just going to play Collective Company here. Uh, I guess we can wait for this one. They're just going to Primeval Titan though, right? Like, How do we not lose this game? Like, it's funny because we can't, even if we play Arbor and Ghost Quarter Land, like, they have the two to pay for it. So I don't think that's correct. Like, we just hope they don't have another Summoner's Pack slash Primeval Titan, of which they have six left in the deck. <laughs> Seems like a tall order, but. Hmm. What is happening right now? <laughs> Are they just bane firing us? I'm sorry, what's happening right now? Is this real? What in the shit? Like, is this a real thing? Is this in this deck now? This thing costs nine mana. <sighs> yeah. Oh man, that's amazing. Yeah, the thing is, like, even if we go scored the the Slayer Stronghold, I don't think we're beating this. I would like to see what we hit, though. Start gain. Oh my god, how is this real life? You can get a Summoner's Pact, I guess. Three T Rexes joined at the neck. How majestic! Ah, uh, why does it have vigilance? I have never seen this before. Yeah, yeah, that wouldn't do anything. I mean, they don't give it haste, right? But they, they, they machine gun our team, and it's like, we're at five, so it's not really great for us. Wow, that's insane. Flickerbus would have been... I mean, Flickerbus would have made the best of a bad situation. Like, we Flickerbus with their guy... They still machine gun the Flicker Wisp and every other creature we have. Um, I guess we could do it in response to the trigger, but then they still get to... The Flicker Wisp comes back during our turn, and they just kill everything then. Like, it's hard to deal with. Like, that's a card that, like, really... Good lord, why is that a thing? Alright, I'm going to take one of these Gowdy Townships out. I feel like there should be at least a few heaths, especially with Eternal Witness. Sometimes you just want to get a land back. Three Horizon Canopies feels like a bit much. Uh, I'll take a one of the forests. Uh, why not playing Aether Vial? You can't play... I don't think you can play Collective Company and Aether Vial. Um, I think you have to choose one or the other. 
I do think you want four paths in the deck. It just goes so well with Lean and Arbiter, right? Genericano. Good games, man. I was actually uh, very shocked with the... Um, that Sakana tech is pretty insane. I, I really do hate either Vile in the late game. I also think Eternal Witness is really good with Collect a Company. You just get the Collect a Company back and try again. Um, I don't know if I feel like... I'm not feeling the main deck Jermoka's Command. I don't know if that's just me. What are other good... What are other creatures that are actually pretty... Uh, Four Temple Garden is sketch, really? Thank you. Johnny, big, large, and tall. Thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Coming plus files just for real. It's just for real, man. Nice. Uh, it's more versatile than Path. I agree with that. However. Like, if you want to kill a Primeval Titan or, you know, a, a Tarmogoyf even a lot of times, just sometimes you just can't do it with the Dramokus Command. I mean, I feel like with this mana base, like, double, like, green-white, 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 green like, all these green-white cards are, you know, double-white, double-green cards. Like, I feel like four Heath is, or four Temple Gardens is not really uh, that, that much of a stretch. Yeah, I could see actually cutting the Pride Mages. What do you, like, what do you even, like, Genericana, like, what are you hoping to not come up against if you play, like, there's a lot of actually, I like a third Stony Silence just because it's one of the best cards of that type. I also like a third Rest in Peace because they're only graveyard stuff outside of Surgical. Um, I don't know if we really need a Fracturing Gust. But I kind of like it. I mean, it's good if the Hardened Scales deck is a thing. Same thing with Droka's Command. Um, but, uh, Night of Autumn, I don't know what you're saying right now. More Horizon Canopies? I just took one out. I'm not a huge fan of, like, I don't know. Horizon Canopies, never, I've never been a big Horizon Canopy fan. I can, we can try going three and three. Is Night of Autumn good? I wonder if Pelt Collector has a place in this deck. As, like, a one drop. I don't have any, so I'll have to go to zero here. Oh yeah, I know Canopy's actually really good. I, I'm I personally have never just appreciated it. I don't like having to take damage after every single activation and like I don't know settle in the sideboard. Really? What matchups are you adding settles for? I almost want to cut one of the I, I just feel like I can cut the Thalia or the surgical. Let's get the fracture and gust for now. Remember another creature control on his battlefield or dies the extra power is greater, put a one on counter out. So trigger for like all the two drops. But that's pretty much it really. Yeah, that's the one reason I don't like Horizon Ken people. Like having to having to take a point every single time. Yeah, I'm I'm not yeah, I'm not super stoked on on Pelt Collector actually. I do like voice though. I think voice is good. Eternal Witness is good. I like Flicker Wisp with Night of Autumn a lot. Thalia is fine, Arbiters are fine. I feel like this could be just fine. Have you seen the Pelt Collector Vexing Devil Death Shadow deck? Uh, no, but I saw. I've heard of it. I have not seen it in action. Ooh. Cut one voice for a Gideon. Oh, I don't know if I want another four drop though. Like, see, this is this is what I'm talking about. Like, it's gonna this is a lot of damage to take for opening hand. But I mean, it's a good opening hand. So, do we take two and never take damage from this again, or do we take one from this, play this, and then 
one from this next turn for anything else we play. I guess it's just one. Let's see how quickly they kill this. No, not that quickly, I guess. Scavenging ooze, perhaps? What format is this? Legacy Cube. This is what's known as modern Johnny Big Large and Talls. This is the modern format. So long, Eternal Witness. E Turtle Witness. That's a good one. Yeah, this is just an Ixalan draft that turned out really, really well. Oh, well then. Man, this is a smiter matchup for sure if they start making us discard cards that uh, we don't get to choose. Or we do get to choose, rather, like a Raven's Crime or something. Land? It's actually pretty reasonable. Probably just playing that as a 4-3, right? Put two one one counters on it. So it's basically a Jade Light Ranger. Where's your Moxon? I could have sworn I tuned into Pro Tour Vintage 2018. What does that even mean? Purple Rain. Purple Rain. Oh, Monastery Mentor. What a little cutie. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess we're just attacking for these guys. Take seven. Play Arbiter. If they play Arbiter and they path, though, it's pretty bad, right? Like, Arbiter's just working against us in that situation. If they go untap, path, path, we lose two guys. They make two, two dudes. I don't think having Arbiter out is more beneficial than the drawback of them having paths. Yeah, that's fine. Did you what is the card that's coming over here with this? Did you see the did you see the card? It looked like a I feel like it's right on the tip of my tongue. Was it the engineered explosives? Like, huh. Now, if we can draw a path here, or a land, I'll take any path, any land. Any path, any land. All right. See, now we take two again. Dang. Maybe I just eat the lingering souls, though. <laughs> it's probably better, right? Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to pass and keep Lingering Souls up. Or, uh... You like company on our end, end step just because of Flicker Wisp? Yeah, I think it's fine without. I think we can just pass and do it on their time. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's get rid of this. I don't actually like them having the value of a second Lingering Souls in their graveyard. Well, I think we can wait a turn for Collected Company. We're actually, I think we're, I think we're pretty ahead here. And then making three more tokens is not great, especially if, since they're missing multiple land drops. Hmm. Hmm. One, two for Arbiter. So we go one, two for Arbiter, and then we play Ghost Quarter and kill this, but then they can just pay for it, so it's not a huge deal. And we'll just play Ghost Quarter and attack. And here's the path we were afraid of, I presume. Oh, zealous call conscripts. <laughs> it's persecution. Yeah. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. That is a sizable monastery mentor. Man, zealous persecution is uh it's no joke. Do I have any shirts that aren't black? I actually don't. Um, do we have anything we can get with this? I don't think so. You guys are pretty ridiculous. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Wow, so that's persecution. What a blowout. You can also line the walls with Mountain Dew shelves. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, look, they hit a fourth land. I hope you're not Esper. I'm going to be super awkward. Mmm. Well then. I also might be going to GP Portland in December, so I do have to brush up on my modern. It's like one here. It can't be Esper Polymorph because they played Monastery Mentor, right? So like, like they just polymorph this and hit Monastery Mentor. It's actually not bad. I don't care about Thalia. I want Flicker Wisp and Noble Hierarch actually because we can Flicker Wisp this thing. Play, uh, if they have another Zealous Persecution, it's pretty bad. Arbiter's on deck over here. We did this first in case we go to combat and they have another Zealous Persecution or a Snapcaster or something. I've been drinking. Well, you do what you gotta do. Purple rain, purple rain. Alright, so I feel like they would use it in response to this, right? <laughs> and they did. Let's 
doesn't feel that great for them, right? Like we can just kill their their goblet shrine. Moon after midnight. Let's kill this one instead. All right, so all of your things die too. Which oh no, they don't. They get bigger. Oh wow, that's so much worse. I thought it was all creatures for some reason. I have literally no idea why I thought that. Yeah, I was like, well, you lose your Snapcaster and you lose your Monk, too. But it's... God, Zealous Persecution is so much better than that. You're better than that, Zealous Persecution. Okay, well, this is pretty brutal. I don't feel like we're fine. Three lands and two land and Arbiters versus this board is not ideal. Yeah, Lingering Souls is a pretty good follow-up. Yeah. Let's go to the next game. Pro Black, huh? Hmm. What do we have that doesn't die to... Uh... If I come see you, if I come see you at UB Portland, will you sign a mountain for me? Yeah, it's my favorite land. Can you please get the I'm in danger sound clip? I'm in danger. That's a good one. Hey, knock it off. There's a kid back there. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, man. That's good stuff. That's good stuff. Where is MTG Bot? It says it's... He says it... I can see it in the chat. Look, it's right here. MTG Bot. Right here, it's in the chat. I can see it. Why aren't you... I don't understand. Do you think Watsi could unban Ivugan? No. Oh my god. Just stop it. No. No. <laughs> Stunny Silence? Not great. Rest in peace? Not great. I could see bringing in Surgical. Dali could probably come in. Shalai seems good, but... I want things that just pump the... I, I mean, like, if I play Gideon, I'd probably just make an emblem immediately. Jeroka's command seems okay here, actually. I actually don't care about Flicker Wisp. It seems bad against the... Um... Actually, I don't love the Thalia because she does die to Zealous Persecution. I think three Thalias is actually fine. This is probably where... Probably where we want to be. I don't think I love the Settle here. Hmm. I'll keep this because we get a turn two Knight of Autumn, which could be very good. That's weird. Beer Man Man's here. He's a mod. Wow, they fatal push that. That's rude. Joke's on you, buddy. More where that came from. Also, let me know if I'm commenting too much. <laughs> well, ideally, you don't want to just tell me what to do, right? Like... Yikes. That's worse. 
So our hand is Path, Horizon, Canopy, Horizon, Canopy. Ooh. Seems like a pretty easy pick, right? Unless, of course, you have Monastery Mentor and you're trying to figure out if this is just easily ignorable. These lands are actually cards. I guess that's true. It just takes so much effort to like to make them cards, you know what I mean? You forgot to bring that other guy who usually recommends all your best plays, so we're just trying to wow. 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 That's rude. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. I did not anticipate being this stressed out. <laughs> not to be a backseat duelist, but you should play lands on most turns that you're able, so you can play sweet monster cards. That's actually a good strategy. I uh, I really think that's I really think that's correct. The only card we don't want to draw here is Collected Company if we crack this, but I think that's worth the risk because. Sorry, I, I just think I'm too stupid to understand this. Why do I talk? I don't understand. <laughs> Why do I talk? Oh, God. I'm tempted to path this, Jace. And I'm tempted to do it now. It's okay. The only card we don't want to draw is Collective Company because it's the only one we couldn't cast. But after cracking this, because we wouldn't have four mana. We have to do this now, otherwise they flip him next turn. So I'm pretty sure it's worth doing. That's unbelievable to me. I'm just like... And this is where they're going to go like, Snapcaster Thoughtseize. It's going to be amazing. You guys ready? Here we go. Oh no, this is just gonna be Gideon. That's also good. Does flipping go on the stack? I mean we would we would go to hit it. Um and then in response they would loot and then they would you know it would flip. I mean, they could they could loot, and then we could respond to that by uh, by activating or by killing it. But then, like, if they don't do it on their turn, then we have to keep the mana up um, until our turn, and then like wait for it. But then we wouldn't be able to cast Collected Company because we were waiting for it to flip. It's like, yeah, there's no reason to put top in the format either. Unfortunately, something about green to go through my head. Don't want, don't don't want to be an American Gideon. Burn, 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 burn. Right, we're just gonna collect a company here. Maybe that's good enough to do a thing. This is where you really want to turn a witness. Instead, we get Smiter and Ooze, which I guess is okay. Any order. Have you seen Made in Abyss? I haven't even heard of Made in Abyss. Did you guys see these... Uh these mono red aggro decks that we're doing well at the at the open collected company number two it is not that land an arbiter arbiter let's hit that gideon shall we See so if you want to block, see if you got a removal spell. I bet you have all the things. Do 
Just get to eat Gideon here? That seems very good. Uh, again, I don't want to play... Well, I bet they don't have path. Or else they would have path there, I would imagine. So I can assume they're off path. Yikes. The old six counters. This is hard to see. This is this is hard to deal with. If they go mentor into lingering souls, it's actually pretty hard to deal with. Yeah, they're gonna do it immediately. We actually I, I forgot the trigger, so I didn't respond to it because it was just. So they just do it now. Just do it immediately. Yeah, that's rough. That was just a misplay on my part, but it, again, I don't think it makes a difference. Like, if they had three guys instead of six, like, is that... <sighs> Blocking here seems not good. There's three creatures we could eat. Yeah, I'll just take four. We're at a point where we're just going to eat our own guys. See, a lot of the times, they'll resolve. They'll play a Lingering Souls. And, um... They immediately get to... They get priority, so they immediately get to replay it. Um, and that's where my head was at. When I didn't decide to exile it immediately. Just because I'm like, oh, well, that's a good draw. not going to play that. We're also not going to play Leonard Arbor here. We're just going to collect it company. Unmoored Ego. Interesting. Well, we're definitely playing this in response because... <laughs> Pretty sad if we don't. Did you just name collect the company? Collected company. Well, we will no longer be top decking collected companies, ladies and gentlemen. Does Arbor actually work against this effect? No, because uh, actually, players can't search libraries. How did they do that? How did that? They also didn't get the ones in the graveyard. They just got one. So, so this is 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I guess we have to block both of these. How were they able to search the library then? Choose a card name. Search target opponent's graveyard, hand, and library. Does it say you can't search your own? Players can't search libraries. That's really weird. <sighs> yeah. All right, I'll print screen so we can get a refund. Having two two collected companies definitely could make the difference in this match. Uh, we just play both of these guys. They block here, they block here, they take four. That's pretty bad. 
Otherwise we take three and we die, so we have to eat two things to stay alive and we'll have four blockers. One, two, three, four, so we're basically dead actually. One, two, three. No, they didn't pay five. They played. They paid three and then they played two for Zealous Persecution. Read Leon and Arbiter. Players can't search libraries. Okay, I read it. <laughs> are we done? <laughs> you guys got it now? Are you are you figuring it out? God, I love chat lethal. It's the best. Like, they have to block both of these. And then we have blocks, blocks. They have no cards, right? Here's Leonard Arbiter. Right here. Players can't, players, any player, players in general, can't search libraries in general. Not players can't search their libraries. Players can't search your library. Players in general can't search libraries in general. If a spell or effect has other parts that don't depend on searching, they will still work normally. Like, work depend on search? They search target, op search target opponents, graveyard, hand, and library. If they just got the ones out of the graveyard, that would be fine. It actually, it's the opposite. So we're at two, we take one, we block two, we take one, two, three, four, five. We can gain three and go to five. Yeah, we're just dead here. So the problem is like if we attacked with one, they could just take it. So we actually had to attack with none or they had to block both. Um, my concern is like birds are bad top decks, right? Scavenging news is good, voice is fine. We don't have anything to punch through in situations like that is my biggest problem. I wonder if, like, Nullhide Ferox is good. No, it doesn't have Trample, though, right? He doesn't respect us. <laughs> I love you guys. It's when you guys come at me and be like, uh, why don't you read the card? <laughs> and I'm just like, you're just wrong. Don't present it like you're right if you're actually wrong. That's all. It's not a big deal. I'm trying to, I was actually looking up a uh, traditional list to see if we're like missing anything uh, popular, right? Like any, any kind of like super normal, like all the, all the green white lists are just playing um, the, like the, the combo, right? Shut up and take my money. Leonard, <laughs> $1, my bad. <laughs> oh, that's pretty hilarious. Uh, I don't hate Rancor. You know what else I kind of like? Uh, to like Tireless Tracker. Just as a way to get card advantage. Hmm. Hmm. You're welcome for that joke. What joke? What was the joke? Did you tell a joke, Alan? Good for you, buddy. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, all the lists are the com the combo deck, and I just I'm not a big fan of that deck. It's just kind of miserable, right? <laughs> Lean an arbiter, my bad. <laughs> oh god. I also don't think I don't think I like Gavin Township even. I hate to say it. I think it's I think this is a four four fetch land, no Gavany Township list. Like you just never have five mana in my experience in my limited experience with the deck right now. I've never had five mana and been like, man, I want to activate this right now instead of doing other things, you know? I'm gonna alright, I'm gonna be a little bold. I think I'm actually being a little more hesitant to make sweeping changes because George is in chat and he's like feeding me all these things and telling me this is good, this is good, this is good, this is good. So I'm like uh, see, like right there, like he's sort of no bueno. The fetch list is different. I don't. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make some changes and do do a thing. I'm like I'm gonna I'm gonna change it up. 
Uh, oh, there is arbiters. That's a good point. But you like you just crack the fetches pre arbiter. Like you don't play an arbiter if you have fetches, right? Um, I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a huge. I think that's fine. No, no, George, no worries at all. I'm just, I'm just, I wasn't, I was actually being reluctant to make any, any big changes because you seemed attached to all the cards. You know what I mean? So you were like, no, this card's good. This card's got to have this thing because it does this or this. And I'm like, well, I don't want to change it then because it seems like you've thought about it a lot. But I kind of just want to make some changes and see what we can come up with here. I feel like there has to be a better two drop, right? Is there not like a... You like Knight of the Reliquary, John? I don't actually. I, I'm actually not a huge Knight fan, but I am a huge Smiter fan, so that's kind of funny. What are some good new two-drop creatures that have come out in the past like two sets or so? What if we play like Elephant Soldier? That's a Knight. What if we play like History of Benalia on this deck? I don't like it with Dahlia, I guess, but. Oh yeah, the Banksy that self-destructed was amazing. That dude is unbelievable. Banksy is like, whew, I can't. All right, we're gonna go white, white, green, uh, at most these colors, creatures that cost two. Oh God, we're gonna look in modern. This is not gonna be good. This is gonna be, uh, really extensive there's gonna be like 400 pages 558 yeah that's not gonna help us at all okay i don't think yeah we don't want gaddock tea when we have collected company it's just never i do like remorseful cleric but i also i think i think rest in peace is just better unfortunately we have two slots we can use right now what can they be so like primeval titan was an issue the other dude was an issue as well just like mirror crusaders what if they are just two mirror crusaders like, i just we don't have ways to punch through damage is what i'm really looking for what can we do to get through uh, like a board full of one one tokens or like get what kind of evasive dudes are there are they good like flyers restoration angels not great like we just don't have a bunch of flicker targets i like three mana thalia I really, I kind of like Corsair of Crufix. is actually a pretty cool dude. See, there's a Shalai on the sideboard. We could just play Lyra. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, what if like one Lyra is actually really good in this deck? Wouldn't that be funny? I'm going to do, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put one Lyra in the deck. Do we have any other angels though? We can play like one Shalai and one Lyra. What if we do that? Just go a little digger. Like we have four noble hierarchs. I, I think we'll be fine with a five, one five drop. Steel Leaf Champion Triple Green seems a little rough. Triumph of the Hordes. Wow. I mean, you're not wrong. Trample and infect. Is Sigarda better than than Lyra? Maybe. Which Sigarda, though? You and humans have hexproof. No, that's probably not great. Uh, spells and abilities, your opponent score, cancer, sacrifice. That, that's also pretty good. Yeah, this is probably the better one. But I don't think it's. I don't know if it's better than Lyra, right? Lyra's actually hard to. Uh... So I was playing a blue white, a blue black control, a uh, black white control deck a while back. Um, I think it was like a year ago. It was the Channel Fireball article. It would actually end up doing very, very well. And one of the key win conditions was a uh, Restoration Angel, not a uh, Baneslayer Angel. And it was actually surprisingly good. And also, George, if you've been drinking, that's actually pretty hilarious. Wilt Leaf Liege sounds like gas. Oh, that changes my opinion on everything. You're going back here. Oh, I like Wilt Leaf Liege a lot. Sublime Archangel? Maybe, but we don't have a lot of flyers, so we're like, they're just still going to chump block it. I'm going to try it like this. 
This is what I like doing though. Like this is for the creek side. This is what I like doing is just trying a bunch of different things and see what see what works. I also do like the Shalai and uh, Lyra. All right, let's see what happens. Mm. John, uh, ramming up Excavator was actually a one-of in the deck before we made some changes to it. It was a... Uh, we took it out for Night of Autumn because Night of Autumn is just really good. But, um... Yeah. I will obviously play... Just play Craig's deck. Oh, don't be like that. Don't be... That's sad. I'll keep this hand. There's a room for more than one thing in the format. I didn't see Craig's deck, though. I'll take a look at it now. Monastery Swift Spear, eh? Okay. Well, I will not be blocking you. Craig, how you gonna fight on your day off? You ain't gotta lie, Craig. Um, so against this deck, do we want Thalia or do we want Voice Resurgence? This is a good question. These are the questions. Is it, it's just Wiltleaf Legion hate bears? Oh, that's hilarious because this is literally what we're what we're leaning towards. How Night of Autumn revolutionizes hate bears. God, I love Craig. Craig is like the best dude. Oh, Blade Splicer is a good option. I like that. It's actually surprisingly similar. Um, actually, I don't know if this is the same list. There might be a different list. Oh no, I don't see any. I don't see any Wiltleaf Legions though. Yeah, I don't see any Wilters in that list. It's either Voice or it's Thalia. Voice Leaf of Path is interesting. I don't know if I want to take two against any sort of burn deck just to keep up a path for a Monastery Mentor, though. That doesn't seem ideal for us. Probably just going to play Voice and Stirring Wildwood here. Does anybody want to bring me a milkshake of some sort? I had some tacos earlier. Now I, now I'm feeling like a little, a little dessert. Goblin guide. I'm pretty sure we'll block, right? Okay, what are we going to get here? Are you going to give me that land? No, you're going to give me a collected company, though? <sighs> you know what? I'll take it. I'll take this trade. I'm on my way with just a cup of whipped cream. Wow, that's that's an old meme. That's a, that's a swole mic meme. That's hilarious. Well, we know we're drawing a collected company. That's a solid, that's a solid spell. I don't know if you guys knew that. Yeah, I was like, post combat, you're not going to kill anything, because if you could kill something, you probably wouldn't have let me block. Take two. How aggressive do we get here? Can you imagine if we hit... I'm going to do this now. Again, like, these are just matches where main phase collected company is better, because if we hit, like, Knight of Autumn, we don't want to be risking um, not being able to gain the four. So, like, if they... You don't want them to, to put this on the stack and then have them go skull crack instead. And also we have a 4-4, four, four, so you kind of want to be able to attack with this guy. Brutal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Collected Company is a hell of a drug. So is Night of Autumn.
They're like, what are the best things green and white do? Uh, they like destroys an artifact or enchantment. They can both do that. They gain life. They both do that. Um, they just have big creatures. Yeah, give give it all those things. Let it do one of those things. Oh. Why don't these goblin guides match? That's not okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, be aggressive. Be -e aggressive. Three cards in hand. Bolt this guy would be nice. I didn't figure main, but side for sure. No way, main does everything. At worst, it's a 4 3. Okay, interesting. I was actually thinking to kill this guy because this guy would die automatically due to uh, lack of friends. I mean, maybe we could have kept voice around. Oh, that's pretty good. Do we just play two creatures, make two four fours, or do we actually eat something? I think we eat some things. Oh, Kitchen Finks is a good dude. Three Wooly Fleeges, three Voice of Resurgence. I don't like Gaddock Teague. Especially when you have Gideon in the main deck. I don't like Nissa Voice of Zendikar either. But I mean, these are just these are my just preliminary. He, <laughs> he would have died due to a broken heart. <laughs> these are just my preliminary thoughts. Like I'm obviously I haven't tested anything. Oh, I don't think I don't think Gideon I don't think Nissa Voice of Zendikar is any good here. Uh, that's obviously not my thought there. I mean, there's no deck that this guy's not good against, right? Like, if you don't have an artifact enchantment and you don't need the four life, you just make it a four three, right? The cup of nothing but whipped cream is still a top stream moment for me. That was hilarious. I can't believe so. Rob, for those who don't know, Swole Mike, Rob was driving over to hang out and stream, and he's like, "Hey, I'm getting um, I'm getting a. He was getting something. It was either he was getting something, and I was like, yeah, just give me a small chocolate milkshake or whatever. Uh, or I said, are you going anywhere on the way there? If you are, just grab me something like a small chocolate milkshake. I love to play this out. Green, white are my colors, but it's going to get depressing with all this life gain. So I don't want to see. Si I don't want to see sides. So good. Oh, geez. <laughs> it's getting depressing with all this life main. Oh, man. Yeah, it, it, like having uh, an incremental 16 life and scavenging ooze is pretty good. All right, well, we won. Night of Autumn wins the wins the day. Do you have any knowledge about ad nauseum? Not really. I mean, I have an incre like a... What do you call it? So, anyway, what I was just saying, Rob goes to like Culver's or, you know, Chick-fil-A or wherever he goes to get the, the shake... And uh, he, what he does is he goes to the drive-thru and says, hey, can I just have a cup of whipped cream? And the joke was that he came in and he's like, here you go, man. And I'm like, it's just a, it's just a cup of whipped cream. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yeah, it was really funny. It was funny. Or, it, I didn't, it's hard to build that up. I don't know. It was funny. It was a good moment. He went, it was a lot of effort on his part, but I think it was good. Anyway, to finish Frank's story, Rob, <laughs> a cup of whipped cream. Thank you. There are better things you can do in modern for three mana than a four three no text. Uh, yeah, but it does have text, because it kills artifacts, enchantments, and gains four life. Like, I mean, if it didn't have any text, yeah, I agree with you. There's better things you could be doing. Locks it on smiter is a better thing to do. The versatility is what makes it good. I'm not saying there's nothing better than a four three without text. Like that would be stupid. What I am saying is that 
You get a lot of you. Yeah, like I mean, I don't even. That's a weird thing to even say. No one is saying that. I'm saying if that's your literal. I'm saying if you have to do that, if you have to make it a four three for three mana because your opponent doesn't have artifacts, doesn't have enchantments, and you don't need the life, then you're probably in great shape. I think there are very few matchups in modern that don't have some sort some sort of artifact, some sort of enchantment, or some sort of uh, reason to gain four life. But um, I was wondering if it'd be reasonable to split Leyline of the Void and Leyline of Sanctity for the creature. I, I think Leyline is so. My biggest are you talking about uh, in ad nauseum? be ogress anyway i think it's hard to justify a four of in the main board main 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 deck not main board main board's not a thing i do love it as a sideboard yeah i don't like it just it doesn't there's so many decks in modern where it just kills the thing like i don't know maybe that's true but i think like the versatility is like i don't know craig wesco has four in his list and uh I think anyone who's any and if anyone here thinks they know more than Craig, like they're wrong. So You know what else you can do with three lands in modern cast Karn. That's gross. That's disgusting. Switch from just drinking to drinking plus... Wow, because I mentioned the milkshake? That's rude. Actually, Felipe bought a blender. And uh, I do have peppermint ice cream, so maybe I'll just make a milkshake. What's a nettle... Oh, nettle swine. Yeah, you sacrifice it to uh, gain four, I think. B. Aggressive. Why does anyone want to play Modern tonight? Can you guys jump in the queue so we can have a good time? Having a good time. See, when you're when you can play one Night of uh Night of Autumn in the main deck and have your opponent immediately concede because they're playing Burn. Why are we playing Smiters though? I think Sp Smiters is awesome. Smiters is awesome. I'm gonna actually leave this. I'm gonna go here. I'm going to take out one smiter and I'm going to add I'm a maniac right now. I'm a deck building maniac. I have one liar here, buddy. Enough decks in the metagame to get value from things tonight. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, I'm, you don't have to come to convince me, buddy. Worth absolutely nothing because I have never top aided a four man foot race, let alone a GP. But I think a split with Flicker Wisp has to be right. Deals with Planeswalkers. Um, what do you mean a split with Flicker Wisp? What deals with Planeswalkers? What are you saying right now? Come on, blind man. Blind man? Are you Matt Murdock? I would add one big Thalia. Oh, yes. Let's do it again. I mean, this hand is not as good as the previous one, especially with a Horizon Canopy, but... Okay. Well, we can play this first turn, which is nice. Oh, wow. We have nine cards? Jesus. That's ridiculous. I'm actually getting rid of the Horizon Canopy here. Maybe. Yes, I don't need this. But wait, what do you mean get sort of Planeswalkers? What deals with Planeswalkers? I'm very confused. Oh my god. This is so many little nerds. Is this our same opponent or no? New opponent? I can't tell. I make George, are you are you married to the Lean and Arbor Ghost Quarter interaction? Because I feel like that it's it's I feel like it's stifling us a little bit. All right, so we'll take four here, I guess. Seems fine. 
Oh, wow. You're attacking with the Goblin Guide. Okay. Well, that's an easy block. Wait, what happened? Why are we at seven? Oh, because we went to 11 from this, right? So we went to instead. Of, okay, never mind. So three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so I went 14. Do we take six before that? Is that right? I don't even know what's going on. I'm, I'm very confused. I don't care about e-witness here. I personally am, but a lot of the changes... <laughs> So, so, like, if you're married to all these cards, what could I have done to this deck that, like... It sounds like you don't actually want to change the deck or want want any suggestions for it. You just kind of want to... You just want me to validate that you, the deck is good. You know what? I think, I think your original list is perfect. I think you just got bad beats, and you should just play it like that. But no, this has been fun. I've had a good time, so... Oh, I see. I see. You know what? I'm blocking with both. They're going to have to use two mana to, to, to kill something or to pump these guys, which lets puts Thally off the board, which means we can cast Collected Company, which is fine. And this guy's, these are guys going to trade anyway. So, yeah, we'll go to four. And if we can hit two Knight of Autumn right now, let me tell you. Let's play this. Go to three. Let's do it. Double Knight of Autumn. You guys ready? It was not even one night of autumn. We are dead on board. We didn't do it. We didn't live the dream. I'm hard to work with. Okay, well, as long as you know. I just didn't want to... Here comes a skull crack for three. Good night. Yeah, seems good. Even one night would have been great. Putting us to seven would have been unreal. Two, three, four, five, six. Should have played four mains. Like we have four. There's literally four in the main deck. Okay, you can come in. Leon and Arbiter is not great in this matchup. Warship is pretty unbeatable. Shalai seems pretty good. Uh, don't care about rest. Don't care about Stony. Other Thalia is good, but I don't know. What we'd cut for her. Probably maybe like one Wilt Leaf Liege. Scoos would have purchased one card? <laughs> Buy one card. I will play first. Uh, yeah, I'll keep this. Second turn scavenging use, third turn Night of Autumn if we hit a land. Let's look up the Leon. Let's see what Leon and Arbiter decks there are. this guy and we have nothing to play right I guess we can path their guy mm, Eldrazi mono white hate bears green yeah here we go that's what we're looking for uh, revoker selfless spirit selfless spirit does seem pretty good do I kill this probably Yeah, they don't have many creatures, so being able to get this off the board, I don't actually see a, a, a point where we're going to actually, um, eh, it's actually better than scavenging is here. Oh, I like Militia Bugler a lot. That's an option as well. That can pretty much hit anything. That's worth considering. Idle on, huh? Well, biscuits.
Did I? Like it's tapped. You know it's tapped. So there we go. Let's try again. You nailed it. We'll take two. They have two cards in their hand. Do they mulligan? Good lord. Mulligan five. Oof. It does have a bullseye on it, but they only have three cards. So what can you do? We can also get any land. So. Hey, you guys know what Night of Autumn does? It kills Eidolon of the Great Revel. Do you guys know that? Here we go. Here we go. Kill this guy. Oh boy, that's aggressive. Hopefully they'll attack with this guy so we can block it. Yeah, I didn't think so. They have no cards in hand though, so... It's pretty much smooth sailing from here. Well, less so if you don't have uh, mana. Yeah, so apparently you're right. The uh, This version does not use... The Leonard Arbiter version does not use fetch lands, which makes sense. It makes total sense. Oh, no attacks? I like it. Land? Land me? Land me, maybe, one more time. So we take two from this. I think we can go to ten here when they have one card in hand. But do we just want to play Noble Hierarch instead? Maybe. Like, we can only gain one from this so far. Anyway... Oh, Lightning Strike. Lightning Helix, rather. <clears throat> Is Transmogrifying Wand good? I don't even know if that card's good anywhere. What are they killing? Scavenging is? Yeah, that's fine. What's your last card? You didn't play it last turn. Seems fine. I really don't want to take any more damage from this guy. If we could draw a land here, I'd, I'd be a pre. I'd, pff, that's a good one. That is a good one. So Knight of Autumn actually gains us two, or we can get rid of this guy and take two. So we can either go to ten, or kill this and s go to six. Uh, actually rather swing with this. Reason being, this is a 3-3, three, three, so we can block here if they don't have two spells. And if they have a spell, swing with the token's worse. So. Any land, we get to Collected Company, which is, wow, another Eidolon. That's aggressive. Land? <sighs> Alright. I'm just gonna main phase this. We have an all... Oh, one hit? Dang. Brutal. That seems good. This is the only creature I'm really afraid of, so. Can we just top deck another collected company? Top deck another collected. We, we did put too many high drops in here. I'm honestly just not a fan of the, the Leonard Arbor and Noel Hierarch, or uh, Ghost Quarter interaction. Also, Militia Bugler does hit Knight of Autumn, which is pretty nice. You're at 11. 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You can block. You have to block one if we alpha here. 
All right, you block here, you take four, five, six, seven, eight. I have two cards in hand, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and if you have any burn spell, we just get a token out of it, so I'm not too concerned. Oh man, if you're getting rid of both of these. Oof. I'm on board. Let's go to the next game. I'm going to get Collected Company over just getting Knight back. And done. Alright. We could have just gotten Knight back and made things easy, but... Oriac Champion is pretty unbeatable in this matchup, I think. If we can just turn to an Oriac Champion, I think we're just so far ahead. Uh, this hand is actually great, so long as we can hit one more white source. Oh, uh, yeah, this seems fine. Take out a liege, put an arbor in. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my liege daddy. Yeah, if we can hit a second white here, this game is going to be uh, quite, quite good. Any white. Any... Well, that's interesting. You saw one eternal witness and you run on rest in peace. That's interesting. Hit me, me, me. Is that the song I have stuck in my head? Yeah, we can yeah, we can ghost quarter. We can go white ghost quarter if we want to. Also, Searing Blood says when it dies, uh, you deal damage to the controller and uh, it didn't die. So you just don't take the damage, which is pretty sick. I'm gonna path this. Whoa, that's awesome, dude. That is gasoline. Yikes. One more? Alright. Go to 12. Uh, so we can go white, white, Oriac champion. And white, white, Thalia. Gain a life. Always yes, and always yield to that. You play mono blondes? Oh, it's four, uh, it's four non blondes, is actually the name of the deck. And I said, you know how it goes. They have two cards in hand, and we have Oriok Champion. All right, that's all I need to know. Well, I'm pretty sure we're gonna Whitley Fleege here. Crashems. Yeah, I don't know if we get enough value out of killing their lands though. Like it's not I don't know if it's worth the risk of like maybe they don't have a third basic in their deck. I have to assume they they have a third, like maybe one planes. Lightning Helix our face, sure. 
Um, we can go one, two, three, activate. Yeah, all right, so they did have one. Three. This is 14, so they're basically dead. And we can drop a news here to gain a life, go to nine. There's nothing they could do here, actually. Take a deep breath and I get real high, yeah. Scream at the top of my lungs, what's going on? All right, so we will go back to the original strategy, I suppose. There is another Stirring Wildwood in a lot of these lists, interestingly enough. Um, 22 lands is common, though. That doesn't make me comfortable at all, though. There's like a list here that has two Field of Ruin, four Ghost Quarter, and one Gavany, and that's so many colorless lands. It's just also so reliant on having Lean and Arbiter out, because if you don't, it's just kind of bad. So like, it looks like we're... I don't know, they're stirring. And they only have two, they have three basics, we have four, which I like better. But they also have four Horizon Canopies, and I'm just like, ooh, it's so many. I only have two Militia Buglers? What's that about? I feel like this is an easy three. We can take out the Tireless Trackers, which is, makes sense. Um, we can take out the Lyra, I guess. Man, that makes me so sad. I really like Lyra here. We also need one more land. I really don't want a fourth Horizon Canopy. I think Liege is good. I think it's a nice... Maybe we want one less Liege, though. Selfless Spirit is good. I'm going to add one Thalia. You can't hit her with uh, Militia Bugler, but I think it's okay to have one Thalia in the deck. Also, some lists don't have Voice of Resurgence. Instead, they have, like, Selfless Spirits and, like, a Phyrexian Revoker. I don't know if I like that better, though. We need one more land. Erg. We have all four Razor Verge. We have two Stirrings, and we have four of these. I'm just add another Planes. Like, I just don't think you can have too many Basics. I don't think I ever want the fourth Thalia. Maybe you do though, like maybe against uh, the, like like the combo decks. But I feel like Leyline's probably just better. So this is twenty three. We get to we get to put one other card, one more card in here. It might just be a fourth of voice. Let's grab, let's grab two more militia buglers. We should just have those. I'll wait till one of these opens up in case, uh, yep. <laughs> Do you not have any buglers? Did I spell it wrong? Wow, no Militia Buglers. I wonder what this card's going for. God, I hope it's on like 10 tickets or something. I 
Yikes. Oh, 0004. Wow, what is my what is my credit right now? Wait, what? That can't be right. Why are you taking a ticket then? Oh, do I have like zero credit? Oh, my, my credit is 0006. And this is 004. Okay, so sure. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, actually, what if we put two Flicker Wisps in instead? Let's do that. And we'll take out the one Thalia. I've never seen credit. Yeah, I was like, wait, don't I have, how do I not have anything? Uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. Why no Finks? Um, I think if you're playing, I think like Night of Autumn is probably better. Like, let's not underestimate what um, destroying an artifact or an enchantment does. See, look, now we can just kill this when we get it when we get a dude. We can also ghost quarter it. Ha 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 ha. Actually tempted to ghost quarter it. Hmm. So if we play this now, they're they're not gonna put another one on the same land, right? So we don't wanna show them this. I don't want to play this because then we have to play this in order to get this guy out, whereas we might just want to play this. Um, I'm probably just going to play Temple Garden here untapped. I don't think life total is going to be super relevant in this specific matchup. See, if they put another Utopia Sprawl on this land. Yeah, Fatal Push. And second Utopia Sprawl. Fertile ground. Fertile ground. Double sprawls. That is unfortunate. We can play this and just kill one of them. We can also Knight of Autumn here. Rub Decay. Fatal Push. It's going to be another Fatal Push. Yeah. All right. It's fine. It's a little two for one. I'm still rooting for you? Really? What did I do? Wait. What did I do? Were you saying I should have I should have Ghost Quartered? Hunter, stop. I'm just like, spinning around in circles, making a big old ruckus behind me. Can't even handle it. I think they're just going to play Garrick on tap to get three mana. Yeah, it's a pretty obvious play. Incoming Gonti, yes. <laughs> Gas, please. Oh, wow. That's what is going on? What is this like Utopia Sprawl Garrick Tassiger deck? What in the hell? Lean an Arbiter one time. That's a noble hierarch. That's close. It's the same, but different. Same, same. But different. But same, but still same. So we can play Bugler and Path, or we can play Bugler and Noble Hierarch. I 
think I care about noble hierarch really. We could also ghost court of the forest, but then I mean like we're just keeping them off one mana, not two. Yeah. They have one card in hand, but they have an active Garrick, which is not ideal. It looks five cards, right? Four cards? This guy's gonna whiff. Oh, you didn't whiff. Good for you. Do I just chain the buglers? Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna do this now because I don't want you to untap, be able to activate it, untap, get three mana off Garrick, and we're just gonna Death Cloud? Death Cloud would be interesting. That would be fascinating. The problem with Deathclaw is like you have to sacrifice creatures, right? So like playing Tassigar out if they had Deathclaw just doesn't make much sense. Yep, here comes Deathcloud. And done. They have literally two cards in hand. One of them has to be a Deathcloud. We're gonna watch this slowly dwindle away. Yep, here we go. Yeah, like if it was a Death Cloud deck, I wouldn't imagine they had just run Tasker out there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so it's five. Yeah, alright. Yep. And done. Sigh. Don't care about Oriac Champion. Life's not relevant. Thalia seems good. They don't have any artifacts. Don't care about that. Don't care about the graveyard. None of these seem relevant. I guess it's on Thalia. Take an ooze out. The old Bugler Centipede. Yeah, that was the uh, that was the name of the indie film I made back in college, The Bugler Centipede. Unpopular opinion. I don't think that's an unpopular opinion. I just don't think it's a popular opinion. You know what I mean? Like unpopular would make it seem like people actively dislike that opinion. Uh, whereas not popular means that people are pretty neutral on it. I think people are pretty neutral on that opinion. Um, you know what? I'll keep this hand. We have double Arbiter, which could be good. Man, I won so many games with Death Cloud back in the day. We had a lot of Grandpa John over here. Oh, back in my day, I was casting Death Clouds for 16 mana. We had to tap our lands by themselves. We didn't have planeswalkers to untap our lands for us back then. I wouldn't be ashamed. Death Cloud's gas. Death Cloud is good times. It's, it's literally gas. It's a cloud of death. Oversold Cemetery was a fun card. Ghost quarter off the top. That was a forest. My Knight of Autumn has a first name. It's N I G H T. Knight of Autumn has a second name. It's on the friggin' card. It has two names.
Unless you're a planeswalker because they don't planeswalkers don't breathe? Is that a thing? Is that part of the lore? Like planeswalkers because you're a planeswalker enough to breathe? I've never heard of such a thing. Old walkers didn't breathe? What? What is even happening? What is this? Is this real? I can't tell what's real anymore, chat. Look at them cracking all their lands all willy-nilly. Not even afraid of my Leon and Arbiter. This is my problem with Leon and Arbiter. Like, it's, it feels like it's too much work to set up. Oh my god, where is our Loxodons now? Oh, man. Dang. Locks it on Smiter. This is our moment. This is the moment we've needed you. I need a hero. Put a, give me a, let me draw a top tickle lobster on, lock, lobster, lobster, lobster on Smiter. One time. One time off the top. Come on. That's a stirring wildwood. That's close. It's not the same, but it's close. Biscuits. <sighs> Monvoli Acid Moss. Monvoli Cape Acid Acid Cape Moss. Just gonna play this guy. Ooh, Night of Autumn. Does that do anything cool? Flicker Wisp. Does that do anything cool? We can actually flicker our own land. That's pretty gas. Let's go Flicker Wisp, Eternal Witness. Uh, put them on the bottom in any order. Flicker Wisp, target this guy. Counter your little cute spell. Get back Collected Company. All the things. Frank, no. What happened? Doesn't that seem good? <laughs> Voice witness? Um, I mean, this seems fine. Oh, we could have tapped the canopy for black? Okay, sure. That's fine. I didn't realize they had nerve ward because I don't really care about their stupid lands. Uh, I'm not going to pay two life. I'm not going to do that. And now we're just going to kill their Liliana. And we have a collected company, so we're probably just... The game's probably over. Stirring Wildwood. Do your gosh darn job. What is this, Kitchen Finks? Please. But do you see the beauty of the options? Hey buddy, listen, you don't have to tell me about Collected Company. I was casting Collected Company while you were in a, a twinkle in your grandma's eye. Just kidding, of course. Uh, I'm gonna go Eternal Witness Bugler here. Let's get Collected Company back again. The chains are so real. I'll get a voice here. Yep. This is good value. I can't I can't imagine why they'd stay in this game. Uh one, two, three, four, five. Let's just go. What can we do? Well, I think we're just attacking with Flicker Wisp and Eternal Witness. And if you want to block here, well, that's fine. I don't even care. I don't even care. <laughs> is it a plant? It's an elemental, you... Um, I'm going to collect a company now. Because if we hit a Flicker Wisp... We actually wouldn't, right? There's one on board. And we put one on the bottom. Whatever, I'm still going to do it now. I don't even care. Uh, yeah, this is fine. Hmm. 
make it big. I also wanted to hit a scavenging ooze in case we could exile this. But I'm not sure if we kept... Yeah, we definitely kept those in, right? Is this good? Seems good. All right, and we won the game. Let's begin sideboarding again. We took out one scavenging ooze. Wow. Man, they have lilies. Can we get a Loxon Spider when they have a lily? I feel like you just concede on the spot when that happens. That's just game over, right? Pretty, 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 pretty good. Yeah, we'll keep the sand. How do you feel about the new targeting and token symbols? I like them a lot. I think they're a vast improvement over the previous iterations of such things. Uh, they take nothing away and they add a lot of clarity. So, I'm all for it. I hemmed a guy at a cube draft and he just goes, come on, Smiter, and my heart dropped. Oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> You're like, oh god. There's, there's a high chance that I help you here. Are you going to just fatal push all my things? Wow. This opponent is so rude. Eh, hey, joke's on you. I had another one. Just give me them collected companies and then we'll be good. Also, being able to, like, blink their Utopia Sprawl and then... Or, uh, kill their Utopia Sprawl and then blink this guy to make it a 4-3 afterwards is pretty nice. <coughs> Life from the loam with no cards. Scavenging ooze off the top, guys. Ready? That was a land. Hmm. So we can go planes, play either of these. It's probably just planes, Knight of Autumn. Yeah, it seems fine. I will not be gaining four life. Just so you know. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we got a game, boys and girls. I don't really want to play this. I don't really have to. We can just play planes here. If they have to, like, if they play, like, Liliana, make us discard something, we'll just play Noble. We'll just discard Noble Hierarch. See, this is a situation where we can keep up Collected Company because I don't want to walk into, like, a damnation. If they go land damnation, we can go collected company, which is pretty nice. Play hierarch? We're gonna play collected company. Garrick. Gary. Oh, we need five. I'm so bad at magic. Ah, oh, it's so bad, dude. Actually, this is fine. We can we're actually I'm totally okay with what's happening right now. This is the only thing we missed. Let's go your face, and let's go your planes. Your planey boy. So if they play Liliana, do we want to discard either of these? Not really. We're just going to keep this in case they play Liliana. If they play Liliana and, like, make us discard a card, they're probably dead. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so they're probably going to make us sack. Sack the Noble Hierarch. It's fine.
What's up, Flex Retro? The problem is there's so many things going on, right? <laughs> that like, oh, I forgot about Thalia. Dang it. I don't know why I said that. What's wrong? What's what's problem with saying I think you did good. You did good. Collective Brutality U, and then uh, that's it. Okay, one mode. Four, five, six, seven, so you're at three. Okay. Well, that's nice. The value is gone. Okay. <laughs> well, excuse me. And is this, are we 3-2 right now? Because that's pretty good. I'm a fan of being 3-2. That's nice. Ultimately, I think this might be where you want to be. I don't know. Like, I think there's so many different configurations. I think this is actually fine. I like the, this version a lot. I think the Knight of Autumns are great. Uh, Eternal Witness in conjunction with both Militia, Militia Bugler, Flicker Wisp, and Collected Company are pretty nice. I think smiters can go down to two. They're kind of narrow, but they are four fours. Maybe cut them all together, but I don't like that. I'm a big smiter fan. Um, I do like the birds gone. I do like four paths, especially if you're focusing on arbiters. And everything else seemed good. Like, I, I mean, I don't know if it was because of the matchups or not, but the last few matches felt a lot more streamlined. Like, I felt like we were hitting our land drops. Um, our threats were coming well. I don't know. I think that's good. I like. I think this is a good configuration. I think anything with four collected company, and um, I do like. I like. I like the bugler a lot because you can hit pretty much anything in the deck, right? Like all of these are hits. These are hits. Eternal witness into bugler is really nice. You can hit the other two buglers, and you can hit the nobles. So you have twenty four cards that you can hit off of a bugler, which is pretty sick, especially because you can technically hit a four three off of it, which is nice. Um, yeah, I think this is sweet. And you can, oh, collect a company into Bugler is also nice. If you collect a company and you hit a, a Bugler and an Eternal Witness, it's just value town, which I think is great. So, yeah, but um, George, thank you so much for letting me play this. Really appreciate it. Hopefully that was uh, two hours, two, two, two-ish hours worth of time and uh, you got some, some insight into it despite some of the misplays because Modern is a complex format and there are a lot of interactions and a lot of cards that do a lot of things. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to send me directs to Critique, you can find the information in my Twitch profile and uh, in my Patreon page. Both are in the description below. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. really appreciate it.